Well, hello, my beautiful Torians. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your monthly reading for July 2024. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares, and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder, though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about pretending to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings, and I will never reach out to you personally to offer one. Also, I will never ask you for money, e-gifts, or donations. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Torians, this is your monthly reading for July. Firstly, I'd like to apologize for the delay in getting this reading to you, but unfortunately I had an allergic reaction which took out my voice completely and uh, somehow swelled my hands as well. So it was really weird. Uh, it took me out of action for a little while, so I really couldn't do any readings for anybody. Um, so that's why the July readings are a little bit delayed. Uh, again, apologies and thank you so much for your wonderful patience with this, but let us begin. I am ready to start your monthly reading. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Taurians? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of? Well, I honestly can't believe that we are in July already. The year is certainly flying past real quick. And on a personal level, July is actually the month where you'll feel more focused on self-care, your nearest and dearest, as well as the place that you consider home. Creating a peaceful and supportive environment will be important to you now, and letting those you care about know how much you love them and opening yourself up to their love and appreciation too without sacrificing your own needs for others. We've officially moved into Cancerian season, so expect a yearning to nest or do some DIY, reorganize or declutter in some way, and also reaffirm what's important to you. Important relationships, spending good quality time with those who mean the most and prioritizing the simple pleasures in life as well as reconnecting to what brings you joy and fulfillment. You may feel compelled to take a vacation during this period as well. Um, add more fun things to do to your list as well as go on solo self-care endeavors to reunite with your higher self. This really is a nurturing and caregiving month, focusing on what you value the most, but on a deeper level, there are a lot of other shifts going on behind the scenes as well. We have the new moon on the 5th of July, and that opens a very powerful gateway to reconnecting to a part of yourself that you may feel like you've lost touch with. A new awareness opens, giving birth to new ideas, new adventurous pathways, and your emotional compass guides you at a heightened pace as you rediscover uh, what's truly important to you, uh, but also what you're capable of, setting higher, healthier boundaries, and truly relating to the world around you to vocalize your own needs and to have those needs met as well. It's a time of asking how do you feel so you can set new intentions to create more stability and security in your life and in your relationships. And of course Sirius, the most powerful and brightest star in the sky, encourages a deep soul-searching quest to ask bigger philosophical questions about the next steps of your path to reestablish your independence and get organized on a healthier life practice or routine and to forge ahead with your goals. Plus, Jupiter, planet of prosperity and expansion, it passes over Aldebaran. Now, that's often called the eye of the bull. So this is going to affect you most strongly, let's put it that way, because of course you are a wonderful Taurian. Uh, it's considered the luckiest star and it amplifies real opportunities for better luck and surprising positive outcomes. So expect a twist of fate for you for the positive, especially since I've just seen that your first card there is the Wheel of Fortune. So uh, there's going to be some lucky breaks there for you or 
better opportunities coming your way. Um, now, of course, um, we also have Saturn retrograding until the 15th of November, so that's going to be quite a while. And this can lead to second chances or opportunities to reevaluate or revisit something to improve it. Uh, Saturn retrograde, it does have the potential to dampen our spirits or our fun a little bit, as it kind of demands us to get more organized to make life run more smoothly without overstretching ourselves. But this retrograde, slowing everything down, can actually help you rather than hinder you as it takes the pressure off slightly and asks you to pause and prioritize what's important. Now this month it can also amplify delays which can frustrate especially if you are traveling and I can see with the world card there and the chariot card that uh, some of you may have some travel booked or you're thinking about getting away there may be a slight delay there but I see with the Queen of Swords some of you you may actually get some compensation uh, if you have been delayed for too long, but we'll get into that when we get there. Um, now, with this um, sort of delay, shall we say, Saturn retrograde, it tests us and it teaches us lessons on patience. We don't like those lessons, but actually everything happens for a reason. You know, sometimes there is a delay that happens on purpose so that we miss something that could be critical. So for example, you know, if you're stuck in like a traffic jam, for example, you may be cross that you're in that traffic jam, but it may mean that you avoid something that was not going to be helpful to your life. So suddenly the universe steps in and puts a pause so that you don't reach a certain point and be involved in something that potentially would have been negative for you. So sometimes delays, you know, they are really, really positive. So um, sometimes we need to see things from different perspectives. Uh, now also we have the second full moon in the sign of Capricorn. It's often called a blue moon because it doesn't happen often. And this will help you to reassess your workload to release money blocks and ambition will return to make delays subside. So you can get busy accomplishing your goals. It's a very, very positive uh, moon there. But on a global scale, we do have some volatile energy to be a little bit mindful of. Mars conjuncts Uranus on the 15th of July, and this can lead to some major shakeups, reshuffles of leadership, people stepping down suddenly or being nudged out of their positions, companies merging or separating or people merging or separating. Uh, also, it can bring shocking events or news as well as conflicts and confrontations. It's a very intense and unpredictable energy, and and this conjunction, it can feel revolutionary, like nothing will be the same after this moment. Uh, so for example, on a personal level, it could be a revelation that you have, like suddenly you're like, okay, I'm never going back to that time in my life, I'm moving forward. Or if you have an argument with someone, you see them in a different light and you're like, you're completely changed my viewpoint of you and now uh, it's going to take a long time to heal this or I'm walking away from this because I feel like you've taken advantage of a situation. So it really is about this unpredictable kind of revelationary energy where nothing will be the same after it, okay? Uh, so it could be a personal revelation, as I said, or it could also be an event there as well for you. Uh, but I feel it's more on a global scale rather than on a personal level, okay? Um, now, it'll be a bit of an eye-opening time almost like a rude awakening. So for some of you, if like you have been struggling with, um, you know, hormonal imbalance or, uh, you know, something health related, you could pinpoint what has been causing this hormonal imbalance. And suddenly you're like, oh, you know, maybe it's something that you enjoyed having, like, I don't know, a coffee. I love my coffee, and so I'm just gonna say that. Um, and suddenly you realize that actually it's been triggering something that's been causing an imbalance or a sudden rush of energy and then sudden drops of energy, and you're like, oh, now I may have to limit or cut this out, and it's like, a bit of a rude awakening, like, okay, you need to get a little bit more organized or focus on what um, will help you run day to day smoothly rather than hinder you. Um, now also Pluto has been very active over the last couple of months. So critical exposés around the world will continue to bring to light anything that has been hidden from the collective and dishing the dirt on people, especially in the public eye. I've been mentioning this for quite some time and it will continue. Uh, let's say the latter period of July is all about extreme as well. 
So major or freak weather events like earthquakes or hurricanes that are actually stronger than usual uh, for the time period that we're in, in places that are not typical. This could also occur during the season and uh, it can also affect water levels too as we close out Cancerian season and move into Leo season. So watch out for that as well. The Mars-Uranus conjunction can also increase electrical storms which can disrupt or cause power outages, social media platforms going down or apps having glitches, issues like that okay stuff to do with the internet or the ether there could be some problems mid-month um, it's really a time to expect the unexpected both on a shocking level but also on a pleasantly surprising level and remember you know electrical storms symbolically they occur in order to clear the air Okay, so if you've been going through anything difficult or anything turbulent in your life right now, know that the July is the catalyst point to shift things around so that things become easier. There's a bit of a lull in the energy. Now, also, I want you to be aware that I'm also bringing back the competition to win a free personal reading from me. Uh, due to circumstances beyond my control, uh, I haven't been able to offer a reading in quite some time, but now that certain issues have been resolved, I am able to open it up again. And I'll talk more about that later because I've waffled on about the planets um, now just to sort of like let you know what's going on, but at the same time, you know, let you know what's going on as I shuffle the cards, you know, as they pop out. You don't want to just have me shuffling in silence there. Um, so let's get straight to your cards. Your first card there is the Wheel of Fortune. So expect a sudden turn of events that is very, very positive. There's one thing that you can be sure of in this lifetime, and it is change, okay? Now, the Wheel of Fortune, it represents um, this change in life that we cannot control the events that occur in our life we have to experience them as they come however we can control how we react to these things so this is about riding the wave of life but i feel like better luck is coming your way so expect the unexpected there's a lot of cycles ending in your life of difficulty and things getting easier here for you. I mean, you've got a queen of pentacles there. You've got a queen of swords there as well. So getting super organized, attracting more wealth, focusing on your projects, really investing your time and your hard work into something that will bear fruit and it will come to fruition. So I always say this to you, my beautiful Taurians, that you tend to make your own luck, okay? But also I feel like you are going to have some extra fortunate energy backing you up this month. It feels like the universe supports your endeavors and a moment where there is going to be like a sudden windfall or abundance or things working out in your favor, a lucky break or some synchronicities that happen that will transform your life forever um, and help you sort of step in the right direction. Now, also, this indicates that prosperity is coming, but I feel you're someone who is very, very practical. You are aware that life can be easy come, easy go. So I feel like you're trying to create a steady level of foundation in your life so that you can, you know, save money, for example, for a rainy day or save towards a vacation or real estate. I feel like right now you're focused on channeling your efforts and your energy into your goals. Even though this is a month where typically uh, most people either take a vacation and I see that you have travel cards here I feel like you're still like planning what's next on your to-do list as it were and I feel like you're turning your life around in the most positive way now I'm really excited to see this card in your protagonist energy because your third house of communication is influencing you at the beginning of the month and that's all about expressing yourself speaking loud and proud finding your voice but also it's about communicating with the law of attraction you know the more you actually indicate and visualize to communicate with the universe as to what it is that you want that's when thoughts become things. So I really feel right now that the universe is helping you manifest all that you desire and you're really thinking about the steps that you need to take next in order to make your endeavors become a reality. So manifestation will work for you at this time at a stronger degree. Also, some of you, you may feel compelled to take a class or study or even take that quick trip. It may even be a getaway just to see family members or siblings if you have them or soul tribe members. But ultimately, I feel this is about you embracing um, 
new ways of living to reignite that spark, that lust for life. I mean, with the Four of Swords here and the Nine of Wands, I can see that you're completely burnt out. You're really exhausted. Life has been hard. I mean, the presiding card is the hangman as well. So I feel deep down on a cellular level, your body is craving a rest, okay? I feel life has been challenging and I feel like you've just been showing up, even though you may have felt that you've been low energy or you've been under the weather a little bit. I feel like you've just been pushing on through and your body is craving a rest. Now, I do feel that you're going to have good quality opportunities for you to take some downtime and really, you know, take care of yourself because I feel like you have been pushed and pulled in many different directions. The chariot card indicates that July, although most signs are kind of like winding down, I feel that you are still going at a steady pace. I feel like your mind is worrying. You are uh, really developing the next part of your plan. You're evaluating. I feel like you are checking in with yourself to see what steps you want to take next and you're very dedicated and committed to making progress on your goals but also the chariot card is really about being more efficient in how you channel your energy so I feel like you're being more discerning about the company that you keep the things that you connect to how you schedule your day-to-day -day so that you can get more things done I do feel like you're gonna be very productive in the month of July even if you're away Okay, I see some of you checking in. Okay, just be a little bit mindful. Don't always have your mind on your work if you're in a career. Also, I feel, of course, if you're retired and you're traveling right now, um, I feel some of you, you know, you may be checking in on a family member. There's a lot of communication there. And this person may even come and join you. They may have been going through something and they require your advice. But most importantly, I see that they need a hug. From you okay so this could be a family member I feel it's someone who's really close it could also be a soul tribe member this person they just desire your time your hug your advice your wisdom your knowledge and I feel like you're there for this person and they really appreciate you I feel like they're a little bit stuck in their life and you may be able to offer advice based on your experience okay so if you're a parent or guardian this could also be your child that you're giving this advice to but moving away from that the chariot card is a card of ambition it's a card of strength dedication discipline okay so I definitely see here that you are being super organized I feel like you're compartmentalizing what's important prioritizing and being on top of your everyday stuff so focusing on your tasks your responsibilities your bills I really feel that this is about you utilizing your energy to commit yourself to making life run more smoothly whilst at the same time making sure that you take some time for you because I feel like in the whole sort of messy fray of life sometimes you forget about your own needs or you don't have time to uh, connect to your own needs now also the chariot card when it's present with the queen of pentacles I see a lot of you creating a strict budget um, and making sure that you keep a tight rein on your finances I feel like your future self will thank you for that so I feel like you're taking control or taking charge of your life in some way especially financially but also I feel it's uh, in terms of your schedule as well you know how you spend your time that's becoming really important to you at this moment in time as well um, we've got the chariot card and we've got the tower okay now I'm going to pull a card on this because some of you not all of you but some of you may have like a sudden issue with your car okay if you have a vehicle there is a potential there that you may have to have it serviced um, let me just pull a card and see what this is okay so I'm getting one thing before I even pull a card if you park your car somewhere there is a potential that when you return someone has bumped your car and I feel like they've hit a light uh, so it could be they hit a tail light or something like that and you may need to get that fixed there is a potential that this person will not wait around and will not leave their insurance details okay now that's not going to happen with everybody so I don't want anyone freaking out okay I feel it's only like two percent two of wands okay um and the devil card okay I mean this person initially they think about waiting uh, to give them credit to some degree they think about waiting okay but I actually feel like they call someone else in panic and this other person says look if there's no one around just leave 
okay? So I feel like they take bad advice from someone else, okay? So I'm just going to leave it like that. For the other um, percentage that I'm picking up, because it's only 2% where I see someone just bumping a tail light or maybe just leaving a scratch or something, okay? Um, for the rest of you, I feel with the Devil card and the Two of Wands, I would say don't the issue I see with the car, rather than having to get it serviced, is speeding fine, okay? I feel there is the potential that you may drive past like a speeding trap or get caught on a camera, for example. So just watch your speed. I mean, you should always watch your speed, of course, but sometimes, you know... Um, if you've gone like a couple over, for example, you could get caught. So just watch out for that. Um, also, I'm seeing a stop sign. There's something about that. It's like making a decision on the stop sign and okay, don't shoot the messenger when I say this. It's like a red light, okay, but it feels like it's an it goes from a green amber, you know, it's on an amber as you're driving and suddenly it's a red light. It's almost like you may be going too fast to slow down, okay? There may be someone behind you or something like that and you have to make a judgment call in that moment. But if that judgment call sees you going through that red light, you're, you're caught, okay? So I feel like there may be a moment where there's a decision where you're in a rock and a hard place. I don't see any like accident, okay? So that's really important to recognize, but just watch out when you're driving to just be a little bit more cautious, okay? Not where you're paranoid or worried. I don't see anything untoward here, but um, just be a little bit mindful, okay? Yeah, okay. Um, I'm being given as well that whoever parks their car and then they return to their car and find that there's been like some sort of minor, I see it's minor damage done to it. It's frustrating. This person, I feel like they may have been under the influence and that's why they panic and that's why they actually call someone else and the other person says, get out of there, okay? So uh, I'm just going to move away from that energy with a lot of respect, uh, but I mean, I can't ignore the fact that the chariot card and the tower is there. So um, for some of you, it may not be a taillight, it may be a bumper. But anyway, I'm just going to move on from that. At least you're okay. I don't see anything untowards there. Um, now, also, I would say with the Chariot card and the Tower, these are two major arcana cards. So I feel some of you have been feeling a little bit stuck for a while, feeling like you've been going round and round in circles, same old thing, just a different day. Remember that when you are in a cycle of repeat, it means that you're really good at what you do, okay? Whether you're in a career, whether you are a parent, whether you or a carer, whatever it is you're doing, the more you do it, you uh, basically are a pro at it. But at the same time, you could feel that you want to break out. You want to break free in some way. So I definitely see you breaking out of the humdrum in the month of July. I see you liberating yourself, um, either going traveling or doing more fun things or just having a bit of a getaway from the usual cycle of repeat. Because remember the tower, it's not a negative card. It is a card that indicates that we get stuck in a rut and sometimes, you know, we feel comfortable in the life that we build for ourselves because sometimes the tower, it can be something we build for ourselves, a schedule, uh, a way of living that we have got into that we did ourselves, you know, it's our own doing. And then suddenly we feel a little bit like stuck or bored or it's hard to change things. So uh, suddenly with that chariot card, you're moving away you're having a sudden epiphany or realization of how to break free from that and how to get the best out of life. But also, I feel there could be a sudden opportunity. If you know my readings, you'll know that a Wheel of Fortune and a Tower, they tend to show up together, okay? Which means a positive surprise, a sudden moment of good luck. Um, I mean, for some of you, if you'd entered a competition, for example, to win a car, I'd be like, hey, you have a very strong potential to win that car because those cards are telling me right now that you are going to have a lucky break and um, I feel it's going to be very, very positive. Um, but also with the chariot card and the tower, it can indicate that suddenly you get a promotion or suddenly you are elevated to the next level or suddenly you have like um, a download from your higher self of information that really sort of like 
blows you away and it helps you unlock and release a lot of tension, a lot of heavy energy to break a cycle and heal from whatever it has been that has been difficult or traumatic or kept you locked in a pattern or cycle of repeat. Okay, so I really feel that you are liberating. It feels very much like you're breaking free from something this month. For some of you, it could be a toxic relationship or toxic environment. If you're in a working environment, and it's been very, very uh, toxic and you've hit a plateau or a glass ceiling, it can be that you are actually leaving a place in order to step into a new role or a new possibility and you're actually going to earn more money and more status from that. Uh, for some of you, it's just that you want to get away. You know, you've been working really hard and you are yearning for a vacation. You've booked one and now you're working really hard to tie up loose ends and get ready for that break. And you're going to have an amazing time despite a little bit of delay there, you're still going to have the most amazing time. And you may even meet someone on that vacation that will remain in contact with you. Uh, I know it's a very old fashioned term that maybe not everybody will remember, but a pen friend. So I'm getting an energy here that you may meet someone abroad, uh, male or female, not a gender specific reading, it's all about the energy, but you may meet someone abroad on a vacation or even on a quick trip that you will remain in contact with after you come back, okay? So this could be a soul tribe member that you really resonate with long term. Um, now, I'm gonna pull a card, as I said, on that tower and that chariot card. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Green Angels. Can you please guide the hermit? Um, that was my next energy that I was coming to. Some of you have have been feeling very isolated in your circumstances. You may have felt that you go unappreciated or unnoticed in your day to day. You've been investing so hard in your life and trying to aspire to a certain way of living and you just feel like you've just been getting by. And some of you, you know, you may have been desiring to meet new people or integrate yourself a little bit more because a world card is an integration card. So I see some of you embracing communal events or community groups or places where you pick up a hobby or doing something where you will find soul tribe members. Words are important. So this could be like uh, a place where people speak their truth, for example, a group of people who take accountability for their actions or try to resolve things within themselves. Or maybe it's a creative endeavor group or it's a place where people come to together to uh, discover new ideas or read books or I feel like there's a coming togetherness in your reading so if you're feeling a bit isolated um, I feel some of you are going to meet a soul tribe member there'll be a group of people but there's one person in particular that you really gel with and this person becomes a firm friend for life now also the hermit energy it's really important because it means you are someone who is an old soul. Things don't impress you as much as it impresses other people. So that's why it's harder to find love or find opportunities that are fulfilling because you've been here, done that, got the t-shirt and have returned for another bout of the same with a smattering of extra lessons, okay? So I feel some of you are soul searching for something other, that missing ingredient. Um, also, I feel this is about you withdrawing in order to basically get clear on the next steps ahead and some of you may have been in hermit mode for quite some time and remember that being alone whilst it is a wonderful solitary energy where you really get to know yourself on a deeper level too much of being alone can also be a negative thing sometimes you get lost in your own head you can't see outside the bubble so it's really important to come up for air and I really feel that the month of July is that for you as well now, what is kind of exciting for you having these two cards is that basically all that is not authentic and true will be shattered by higher frequencies, okay? And um, as you can see there, that lightning bolt, that represents a higher frequency shattering anything that is not stable and secure in your life. With the hermit energy, it indicates that you learn a lesson from this of who is meant to stay in your life, what is meant to be left behind in life, and what you can move on from and see what you're capable of as well. Now, for some of you, I have to acknowledge that the tower can be a shock. So some of you could be trying to get over some shocking news or information or you're moving away from 
something that really shook your foundations and your healing. But also, I feel like you're moving forward and trying to reconcile things within yourself. Uh, for some of you, if you're in a career or you are trying to find a job, if you've been made redundant or you lost your job or were fired or basically you've been searching for a job and you couldn't find one, you could be feeling a little bit isolated or a little bit worried at this time. But know that um, I'm being given two energies for you. One of the energies is that you have an untapped talent, something that's been whispering at you from your heart for quite some time. It's like, what if you did this? And you've been like, yeah, I'd love to do that. But right now I can't, I gotta look for a job. Um, I feel like you're being given this secondary energy. Like if you start something up solo, it is going to snowball effect and create a lot of wealth for you. So some of you could be launching an entrepreneurial ship. And some of you, I feel like you're going to have this sense of duality, doing two things. So there is um, a role coming up for you. One is interesting because it feels very much freelance. So if you are looking for uh, a job, I feel it's freelance. It could involve you being online and having international links, which makes sense because anything on the internet, it's far reaching, shall we say. So it could be something that perhaps you could do from home, or perhaps it's something data related uh, that will help you like utilize the internet, but also uh, sort of skill sets that you have right now, where you can, you know, create more abundance, but I also see like a personal project. So it feels like one is contractual, you know, it feels very steady income coming in. And the other one is kind of like sporadic where you will earn but at the same time, it feels more sort of like your talent, your gift, or your um, working from home kind of energy. So I feel there's two things going on there for you. And for those of you who are in a career, I see you accomplishing something that feels like either a promotion. Uh, I feel like more money will come from it later. So it's like you get the news of it in July, but more money is implemented a little bit later there. Uh, the Eight of Swords tells me that you may have to negotiate that increase in the finances. So it could be that they offer you like a new role or um, move you into a different department, but they may try to keep you on the same sort of level money or um, you know something that's just a little bit above, but I feel you get to negotiate a better deal. You multiply your wealth here, but you must speak your truth and value your skill set because I feel like you are an integral member of the team. But at the same time, I see a lot of cutbacks going on in companies at the moment. So if they can cut back, they will cut back. Okay, so I feel this is about you being the gatekeeper to valuing yourself and saying, you know what, that's not acceptable. Um, I know what I'm worth and therefore I will counteract your offer and then you can negotiate that better deal, okay? Now, I feel this is a month where you are searching for inspiration, trying to find new ways of conducting your life almost feels like you're at a bit of a fork in the road, getting a moment to really reflect on the next steps. You've got the hanged human there. Now, this is a very important card because it's in the resistance position. So some of you, you may have felt like you missed out on an opportunity. You may have gone up for something that you thought was yours or that you expected that you would get or you'd hoped that you'd get and it didn't go the way you'd hoped for. And this is because the universe is aligning you with something better. Sometimes it doesn't feel that way. Sometimes you're like, but I wanted the other thing. And the universe says, well, I know what the other thing brings to you in the end, and it's not fulfillment. This thing over here is much better for you long term. So I feel like for your highest good, there is something other being offered to you. I definitely see a lot of abundance, prosperity and winning happening here. You've got the victory wreath right there. And I feel this sense of independence because I feel a lot of you are trying to, um, you know, create more independence in your life. Even if you're in a relationship, a loving relationship, you want to retain your sense of independence, do things for you, hobbies, settle down with a book. You don't always have to be working on someone else's time. Um, there is a togetherness, of course, but I feel you're retaining independence there as well. Same in a working environment or even in a family, you know, there is a time for supporting each other, but also you you need some alone time there as well. And this is about taking a bit of a pause or a rest. Now also the hanged human is a card of relax. You got this. So if there's anything that you're worried about, because I do see radical change happening here for you, and you may even hear some news about someone leaving 
your environment or leaving a company or leaving uh, a neighborhood or uh, just some really major restructure or change that shocks you. But I feel relax. Change is natural. It happens for a reason. And I feel like you are someone who is super independent and clear about what you want. And I feel like you will find an alternative way, okay? If you know, this person was integral to your team or to your neighborhood, for example. Uh, all things evolve is what I'm seeing there too. Um, now, of course, the hanged human can indicate that you're going to focus a lot on ending old ways of doing things, like breaking old habits this month, anything that is not good for you. I feel like you may be sort of downsizing it. So um, if you basically love a lot of coffee, for example, you may be like, okay, today I'm only going to have one cup of coffee or two. I feel like, you know, you're not cutting it out completely, whatever it is. I feel like you may be just looking at things that perhaps you've been meaning to um, diminish in your life or disconnect from eventually. So I feel like you may be like downsizing in some way. Um, also, the hanged human can indicate a pause, that you've had some delays and suddenly these blockages or delays will be released and you start moving in the right direction and you're on the right path. Now, of course, we have the four swords and the nine of wands healing. Okay, some of you have been doing a lot of healing. Some of you may have actually uh, gone through a separation or uh, a heartbreak in some way, or you've been grieving a part of your life that you feel has changed so much that you don't recognize part of your life anymore, but you are going to reconnect to a part of yourself that feels secure, fun, exciting, and I just get this sense of, you know, you reconnecting to that lust for life. So if you feel like you've been a little bit on autopilot recently, and I can see that you're really exhausted, uh, as I said, on a soul level. So this month, it's really about keeping, you know, your life running smoothly and keeping the ball in the air, as it were, but at the same time, finding good quality time to rest, because I do feel you need some time out. I mean, the Four of Swords, it's even got a hammock on there. It's like, pause, heal, meditate, recuperate your energy. And for some of you, you know, with the tower presence, this could indicate that some of you are just so bored of something that has been playing out in your life, a cycle of repeat, whether it's a person who's toxic or uh, a lesson or, a, you know, something that perhaps you're so over right now, it actually comes to an end. You're cutting it out. And I feel like you're choosing a healthier boundary that says no more, enough is enough. And and I feel like you stick to that as well, whatever that is for you, because it's going to be different for everyone. But with that four of swords there, this is good quality time to get greater clarity on what it is you want for your life. Your mind is going to be sharper this month. You're going to be so on it. You're going to be on target. You're taking care of yourself and your own needs. And I definitely see that your whole reading is screaming for either a getaway or a massage or some good quality time to know thyself on a deeper level. Now, we do have that nine of wands. I feel like you have been walking a very um, intense and sometimes lonely path. Even if you have people around you, they may not have understood the pressure that you're under or uh, the difficulties, the tasks, the responsibilities that have been on your shoulders. But I really feel that um, your guides walk with you and I feel there's a long line of ancestors walking by your side during challenging times and they're helping you question an easier way or to find an easier way of doing something. Um, they're showing me a coin that has laurel wreaths on it. Okay, that's very interesting. Um, it almost looks like a bronze coin, and it has, um, well, it's not, well, it's kind of like that, but it's not really. Um, it's got like a, a winning wreath, a laurel wreath on it. Um, you may find this in a very unusual place, or maybe it's a coin that's important to you that you have. Um, this indicates uh, more wealth coming your way, but also winning at life, whatever winning at life means for you, okay? I feel that things have been a struggle. You have been the wounded warrior. It feels almost like you've been moving through mud in life and trying each time to um, bring this sense of ambition or this sense of positivity or, you know, really trying to regain that lust for life. But it's been hard because at every turn, it feels like the energy is heavy or 
things have just been difficult or you've come up against like blockades or brick walls in some way. So I feel like you're questioning right now and I feel some of you are opening yourself up to a different path but to the same goal. So you may be tweaking a plan or you may be taking a bit of a plot twist in your life to reach your goal in a more efficient way. Okay, now, of course, some of you on a practical level, you could be looking at service providers that they may have come to their end of due date, uh, it could be that they're coming to an end of a contract, you may be looking for alternative providers where you can get a better deal and save more money. For some of you, it could be that you're fed up with uh, paying for a shoddy service in something and you know, it's always the way they get your business and they're like top grade and the service is awesome. And then a couple of months into the contract, suddenly things start to waver. By the fourth or fifth month, you're like, come on, this is awful. But you're locked into a contract and then it's really hard to get uh, connected to like customer service or something like that. So I feel some of you, because I'm seeing tennis rackets right now, this can indicate you going back and forth and back and forth on something that has been really annoying you and you may actually um i mean the, the tower energy could be a threat it could be that you're threatening to leave the service provider um and you know basically you may even talk about cooling off periods or you may decide that you're going to cut them out completely and i feel that actually they will try to rise to the occasion to keep your business especially with the economy the way it is right now this is about you using your voice to get what you truly deserve for the money that you're paying so i definitely see some of you are going to be dealing with that this month um now, also with the Nine of Wands, um, I feel some of you may have been battling away on something that has been draining your energy or causing you to feel really lethargic. Now, this could be something that's hormonal related or it could be that, you know, um, it's a food substance that's been making you feel bloated or an environment or perhaps it's like you haven't been getting enough sleep because the four of swords is in the resistance position it just feels like you've been on autopilot or being like extra exhausted so some of you may actually reach out to a practitioner this month and someone who is in the know who is professional at what they do and they may locate the reason why you've been feeling so extra exhausted it could be that you're run down have a vitamin that that is uh, missing or depleted in some way or it could be that you know uh, you're lacking in iron or something like that so please take it as it resonates I feel some of you may be just getting advice on that and you find your way um, based on like some sort of appointment it feels like an appointment okay I also see a lot of you having an important appointment this month now it doesn't have to be um, health related it could be a, an important appointment in your working environment an appraisal for example um, it could be if it is an appraisal I see that you do really well and that uh, your boss or a person in a position of authority really uh, values who you are and what you bring to the table and you may be surprised actually because you feel like you're just operating under the radar that you're not really noticed or appreciated but this appraisal will help you see that actually you are a linchpin in a company and if you work for yourself if you feel that there's been like an unseasonal lull in your industry there will be a moment where things pick up pace and I feel like some of you may even need to um, outsource some of um, your tasks and responsibilities because it gets so busy so you could like outsource to like an independent PA for example or your accounts to an accountant um, for some of you it could be like this is tax time you're getting organized or you're getting your affairs or your accounts in order and you may enlist the help of somebody um, I do see some of you you may not be able to find a receipt okay <laughs> that's what I'm seeing there it may take you some time but you will find it but you may not find it until the very end of July okay uh, so that's coming out there as well now you're going to be very goal oriented and you're going to be on top of your tasks and responsibilities you're going to reach your goals so if you have like a financial goal of what you want to save you will accomplish it if you have uh, a goal to have a very important conversation this month I definitely see with the Queen of Swords that you're going to have that conversation it's going to be honest true 
and diplomatic but I feel you know with the eight of swords there it's about you basically seeing things as they truly are and speaking your truth so um with the world card also this is a card that indicates that especially if you feel like you've missed out on an opportunity uh, for some of you it could be that if you're trying to get your children into a certain school this is coming up it's so random it may not resonate with everyone but uh, if you're trying to get your child into a certain school and it didn't work out I see a better place somewhere else opening up for you and it works out better for your child in terms of education but also in terms of contacts later on for your child's development and for their future. So everything happens for a reason especially when you get the world card there as well. Now what I definitely see in your reading is you're not looking back. You're not going that way, you're going forward and it's a basically movement that's happening in your um, reading and in your chart movement towards success tying up loose ends anything you start you finish and basically you're going to feel really proud of yourself this month you got a lot done but also the world card is a card of cycles that have been in repeat so much so that you're so over them so bored of them that you are now entering into a new phase or era where it's a fresh new start and you're moving on from those things especially since you have the tower present in your reading there as well and of course this could be a card that indicates some of you are thinking about emigrating because this is a card of finding your place in the world so especially if you're retired, you may be thinking about uh, when is uh, the, the time to retire or if you already have retired, it could be, you know, where you want to retire to, where you want to have a home or a place that you call home. Some of you may be deciding to go traveling all around the world with a friend because we have the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles there. Again, male or female, not a gender specific reading. This could be with your partner, could be a soul tribe member, could be a sibling, someone that you trust. I see some sort of travel together and it's going to be a wonderful time. I would also say make sure when you are abroad, keep your phone charged, okay? Because I feel there is a potential for uh, you and your person, whether it's your friend or a family member, of getting lost, okay? So I would just say, just keep your phone charged so you have access to a GPS or a map. There is a potential here to get lost. I mean, it's wonderful to get lost sometimes because you experience new things, new places, but I feel like if you have something booked in the evening, like a dinner or meeting up with friends, you could get lost to the point where you are delayed and don't meet them. So I just feel it's really important to keep your phone charged uh, in the month of July. That's just come through there as well. But the world card is success. It's abundance. It's about you uh, sort of being focused and really kind of understanding your role in your life and putting all your efforts into completing that um, that you wish to accomplish and being really satisfied. This is about you reaching fulfillment. And for some of you, it is literally about traveling, okay? You may be taking that vacation during this period. Um, now also, because we have the Queen of Swords there, this is a card of thought analyzing, strategizing. So some of you, you know, you may be really focused on your financial endeavors, working towards retiring, really working hard to see if you can retire early. Uh, some of you may set up that independent business. Um, because we have two queens here, these can be aspects of self. This could be you being very independent, self-sufficient, and being really honest with yourself and being very precise about what it is that you want. And also the Queen of Pentacles is, you know, the hard work and and basically having a plan that is practical and implementing that plan to make it become your reality, whilst at the same time multiplying your wealth and finding more opportunities and more people who are willing to help you in your endeavors. So I'm just gonna pull a card to see if it's two people or if it is aspects of self. At this time, I feel it's aspects of self, so I feel like you're gonna be super organized this month. Um, I would also say with this card, it really highlights that your words have power and what you say to people, you know, when it's out there, it can't be taken back. So I feel like you're being really mindful about how you use your words. And it's almost like you can be very precise and very sort of abrupt with your words, but also it can be a peaceful way of delivering, you know, so you can actually say your truth without getting aggressive or defensive. You know, sometimes when a person asks for 
for what they want or asks for their own space, sometimes they can be seen as aggressive or abrupt. And it's not true at all. It's about taking that time and space and taking that ownership to say, this is what I need. And I'm taking what I need and not feeling guilty for that as well. So I feel this is about the power of words to speak your truth. And if you have a yearning to um, have your needs met in some area of your life where you feel like they're not being met, an honest, open conversation will be had without anger without defensiveness and I feel you basically ask for what you need and you get it is what I see there as well. It's not easy as that in life always but I feel you're being given that in the month of um, July in particular. Now we have the Queen of Wands so this is really about what you're attracting okay so it's another queen so I feel this is about you I always see the queen is the power behind the throne. So it's not really gender specific. It's about this energy of confidence, of knowing your worth, of paying attention, of how you conduct yourself, staying true to your values, but also magnetizing opportunities towards you. So I just wanted to clarify the two queens. And as you can see there, this is about you magnetizing opportunities to increase your wealth. Some of you, this could be a startup or it could be a new money making idea, but also it could be about the investment that you put into your life, the energy that you put into your life. And now you are attracting the rewards of that. So it doesn't have to be financial in nature. It could be, you know, all the effort you're putting into personal development, whether that's physical, mental, development, whatever it is, I feel now you're starting to see the rewards. You're seeing the lessons that you've been working on start to play out in your life so that you can have peace of mind, so you can articulate yourself and your needs and have them met, but at the same time, feel secure in your decisions and in your confidence. And also protect the people you care about um, long term as well, because some of you, uh, this is uh, an indication that you know you are putting plans in motion where you are determined to uh, create a life of stability and comfort and uh, protect you and those that are closest to you there as well. Uh, a lot of you are hearing money news this month uh, or you're attracting uh, some sort of financial reward, but also I feel you could be interested in starting something new. It could be an investment in your beauty regime, for example, and I don't really talk about aesthetics in my readings, but the Queen of Wands is all about the physical sometimes. Um, it is about you and how attractive you are. So you may actually decide to revamp your look in some way or have an addition to your wardrobe or you know, basically declutter your wardrobe if you feel like you've outgrown some things. Um, it's really about you feeling the best and choosing your happiness overall. And you're choosing your happiness first before you can offer to others because you cannot give when your cup of love is empty, right? Um, now also, of course, the Queen of Wands is about living your passions. It's really about following um, your uh, creative energies. It's really about being in the flow, being inspired, expressing your passions, even collaborating with soul connections. So I feel, you know, you could be joining a group, as I mentioned, this could be a hobby or something that's artistic in nature where you meet new people, or you could be traveling and meet someone who really resonates with you and they are a friend for life. But ultimately, I feel luck is on your side and I feel that there could be some sort of financial win or endeavor that is financial financially lucrative in the future there for you as well. Now we have the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is an interesting card because it basically indicates that um, if you found yourself stuck on the path that you're on, there is an alternative. So I feel like the goal is still the same. So I'm still picking up on this energy of duality, finding an easier route to whatever it is you want to accomplish. I mean, the tree tends to represent wealth or stability. A lot of you may be um, looking into your heritage as well. Some of you may discover something about someone in your family that you did not realize. This could be someone who is in spirit or someone who's still on the earthly plane. It could shock you. It's not something that's going to hinder your relationship or how you think about this person, but it may be um, 
a revelation where you're like, wow, they were wild, especially if it was a parent or guardian where, you know, they were trying to guide you to the best way to, you know, do life. And suddenly you realize what a wild child they were when they were younger. I feel this gives you a nice, pleasant surprise there. Um, but I feel some of you, you could be looking into your family lineage and find some surprises there as well that really inform you about who you are, where you've come from, and the shoulders that you stand on in this lifetime, and the opportunities that you have now that have come because of the people before you. So I feel there is a sense of gratitude that comes from this card as well. Uh, I would say with the Eight of Swords, especially with the Queen of Swords there, these are two cards that can indicate, investigate um, something. If you feel something's off within you, uh, especially health-wise, if you feel something's off, investigate it further. I mean, the Eight of Swords, it can connect mainly to the eyes or the ears. So if you've been having a bit of like um, an issue in those areas, or even if it's like a seasonal checkup on your vision, for example, make sure you see the appointment through. I don't see anything untoward there, but I feel like you wouldn't want to miss anything where you're just basically having a general overhaul. Um, definitely see that. But let me just pull a card on the Eight of Swords for you because it can indicate that you've been challenged and it may not feel like it yet, but you are turning a corner for the better and that things are going to work out in your favor and you will get through this. Uh, trust the process. The Judgment card and the Emperor. Okay. Um, now, the Judgment card can be like finding an easier or better way or choosing a better path for you, but it's also a card of clarity. So if you've been stuck on something or trying to find a solution on something in your life, know that this is the month where you have the breakthrough to have a sudden realization or epiphany. It's a bit of a wake-up call, but it helps you choose an easier path that is more rewarding and more fulfilling. Also, some of you may have been feeling stuck on your life's purpose path, and you may want to sort of um, either learn more about it so you feel more inspired, because sometimes when we do something day to day, it becomes second nature, and you may start to feel a little bit bored with it. So you need more inspiration. That's you expanding your reach and expanding your knowledge. So I definitely see some of you doing that as well. And also getting advice. I mean, as I said, um, if there's something you're worried about, these three cards say get some advice. Um, you'll be guided to the right uh, path, and uh, you'll get to the heart of the matter. So as I said, if some of you are feeling really drained, like extra drained than usual, it may be that someone who's in a position of authority to give you the advice that you need uh, can help you have a breakthrough on that and recognize that either you're missing a vitamin or depleted in some area or your hormones are off in some way and uh, they'll be able to help you to get back on track. Now what I see a lot of you, um, my beautiful Torians, doing is that this month is a big month for new beginnings or new eras in life. So it could be that you're learning something new or you're embracing something new, changing your lifestyle in some way, and structure will actually work really well for you, okay? I feel you're reconnecting to your wild, but you can merge the two. So I feel uh, with the Emperor Energy, this is all about success, of course, strategy, but it's also about protecting yourself and the ones that you care about with a plan, for example. So some of you may be looking into, um, you know, your pension and insurance and things like that. I mean, with the Eight of Swords and the Emperor there, it can also indicate that you're feeling a little bit miffed with the way that the world is run right now, because the world is there present in your reading as well. The Emperor can represent the structures that govern us, you know, people who are in positions of authority and the choices that they make. It almost feels with the hangman card in your resistance position that the world has been turned upside down and we have reached a level of crazy that is uh, hard to fathom right now. And you're just cautious about the way that the world is headed. And with the Eight of Swords, it's almost like you don't want to look anymore. You're like, oh, what else could possibly happen 
that, you know, will shock me because there's just so much that's gone on. It's almost like you're unshockable anymore. But at the same time with that Queen of Swords, you're compelled to look so that you can make sure that you put a strategy in place to make sure that you and your family are safeguarded. There are some changes ahead. We can all feel that the world is changing. And this year is really critical when it comes to, um, you know, power shifts and changes and uh, things like that. And I feel with that Eight of Swords and your Tower energy, I feel like you are being liberated out of being stuck and you're actually going to be in a really good position long term. Uh, with that Queen of Pentacles, there is a homely energy about it. It feels very much like at the end of July, especially when you come back from a vacation, if you're having a vacation, it feels good to be home, okay? Home really is where your heart is. Even though you like to travel and go off and be wonderfully independent, I really get a sense here that there is no place like home and with the people that you really care about too. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles, it basically means that you are sticking to your plans and you're focusing on your finances and utilizing your resources to make sure that you are opening yourself up to more opportunities. And I really feel that a a lot of you are growing where you're planted right now, okay? And you're going to see some wonderful changes happen there for you. You're creating security for yourself, for your loved ones, and I really feel um, this is a time where things take the direction you've been meaning to take for quite some time. So if you've been feeling a bit stuck, expect that things start heading in the right direction. And you may be flipping your perspective on a few things, new information, new knowledge comes your way. And I really feel like you have an understanding of how to get the best out of life. But also I see a wonderful partnership here where you and a person, I feel like you may have not realized how much you value each other. And there may be a wonderful uh, private conversation you have with someone that reminds you there's a lot of love and respect there too, okay? Uh, so let me just pull some final cards. Oh, okay, I'm going to have to go get that card for you. Um, but we've got two there, so one moment, please. Sorry about that, my beautiful Taurians. Uh, this card was companionship animals, okay? Now, of course, this could indicate that uh, if you've got a pet, that you're actually going to um, like deepen your connection with your pet, but also it could mean that some of you are thinking about adopting a pet at this time, but you may be also factoring in a lot of things that maybe life is a bit hectic and busy right now, and that you're wondering if you have space to adopt that pet at this time. I feel you will have time for that uh, pet, but I feel you know you may hold off a little bit before you do that, and some of you may actually be adopted by a pet. There may be an animal in the neighborhood who starts to visit you regularly, okay? And uh, I feel like they're starting to move in, and it's a wonderful companionship there. But this card actually is all about your superpower, Okay, it's more about you finding yours and exercising it, taking time out to share your gifts or discover your gifts. And I feel, you know, this is about you tapping into your natural instincts. Okay, and uh, I feel like you're very generous. And some of you may actually give to, um, you know, charity where there are animals involved there as well. But it is number 21. So I feel this is more about your instincts to accomplish your goals are on point and you are going to get to where you want to go naturally. Uh, we've also got attraction, magnetism. I'm not surprised to see this card because that was very strongly showing up in your reading there. It is number 37 when you reduce it, three plus seven is 10, which means that there are um, some new beginnings happening here for you. But of course, with new beginnings, it means letting go of some things that we've held on to for quite some time. This card is about knowing your values and your needs so they can be met and being more aware of what you are attracting right now. You're the sort of person who does not run with the crowd, okay? But right now, I feel like you're noticing who or what you've been attracting into your life and how you've been conducting your life, what it says about you. Uh, so if you feel like anyone has been taking advantage or you feel like you've been accepting less than you truly deserve and desire, you're addressing the balance right now. In fact, you're readdressing it. And I feel the natural law of attraction is really working for you, especially since your third house is influencing you at this time. Now, your ninth house is going to influence you at the end of the month. And that's really about that great quest for meaning. 
And I feel this is about re-establishing your connection with your higher self. And basically, you may feel compelled to see the bigger picture of your life, to dream big and bold because you're accomplishing whatever it is you have in your mind. Remember, thoughts become things. So I feel this is a very exciting time for you to check in with yourself and see that there are some really good things turning in your favor. I would say there's one, two, three pieces of good news happening here for you in the month of July. And you are sort of moving away from a period where you felt really stuck. And I feel you're becoming really comfortable in your own skin and getting to know yourself deeper and really realizing what you're capable of doing. Uh, I'm just gonna go and get a drink at our room before we close. So we have a book so this could be that you are uh, promising yourself that you're going to read more. It could also be that there is something in a book that is instrumental to your path. Um, I'm being given like a process right now to go to a book, open a page, and then suddenly point at a sentence in that book. And then suddenly there is a message in that for you. So that's something that's coming through strongly. So perhaps that's something that your guides are wanting you to do at this time. Maybe there's a message they're trying to get to you at this time. So intuitively feel your way to a book, open it at a random page, suddenly choose a sentence, and there could be a message there for you as well. Now, I feel this word is very important, yes. You're opening yourself up to more yeses in your life, uh, but also I feel like you're open to prosperity. And um, if you are worried about something, I feel it's going to work out in a positive way for you. If you're wondering if you're going to get that lucrative deal or that opportunity, the answer is yes. And you've also got a very delicate flower there. So I feel this is more about you taking time to stop and smell the roses, as it were. But also I feel delicate situations are going to become more stable for you as well. And I feel that you are attracting more. Now, of course, your reading isn't really about love this month. Doesn't mean love is not happening for you. I feel this is more about your security, your stability, really focusing on your goals at this time and finding your way to the things that you want more of in your life. But if you do want love, I do see that there's a potential to be talking to somebody new, okay? And this could be somewhere um, where uh, this person is either from a different part of the world than you or it's at a place where you just chill out. Okay, so it could be a party, an event, something that you're invited to, somewhere that you travel to that uh, is quite exciting, gives you some time off. So I feel there is a potential to attract someone there because you are in a high state of attraction at this time. You're going to be getting a lot of attention, okay? So we'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in this reading for you. Um, oh, before I forget, the competition. Uh, if you do want to enter the competition to win a free personal reading from me, all you have to do is take a moment of quiet, then play the song uh, that is called You're the Voice by John Farnham, okay? Then write down in the comment section below, I stand strong with an attitude of gratitude. Music, it raises our vibrations, and since we're currently in a very critical point in the world, uh, playing a song that raises vibrations is actually very important at this time. And of course, if you do not like the song that my guides have suggested for you, then please choose one that resonates more with you. The effect will still be the same. But just write in that comments box below, I stand strong with an attitude of gratitude. And my guides will point me to uh, the right direction of one person to offer that free personal reading to, and I'll announce the competition winner at the end of the month, okay? Thank you so much, my beautiful Taurians, and love and light.